Well, let's talk about some entertainment that's coming at you this weekend in the form of a new movie and new series on streaming services. Movie reviewer Greg Russell is back with us in studio. Good morning, my friend. Good morning. Great to see you guys are just having such a ball. Well, thanks for being with us. We like you having you here. Yeah. Uh, we're going to start with a new series out on Apple TV+. Plus. It stars Academy Award winners Jared Leto and Anne Hathaway. Those are uh, a couple of pretty... Uh, Heavy hitters. Yeah, big, big time folk. And it's all about the guy who created WeWork. I mean, I know you've seen the offices like around Detroit and all that. Yeah, like there was that. like this, like you could just have an office space and just like show up to it. Yeah, because some friends might have it and they let me use it every once in a while. Yeah, they pay and you just go and, you know, get it for You don't need long. your own office. You can just like pay a, a fee and then just show right, up or whatever. What, what was wrong with that? Yeah, uh, nothing. I mean, it was kind of like he just came up with this idea and everybody in the beginning is going, are you kidding? It wound up being forty-seven billion dollars. This wow. company made, and then somehow or another, he kind of wound up just you know getting into trouble by just not working well with people. But working well with people is what Jared Leto and Anne Hathaway do extremely well. Got to talk to Jared about the movie, and here we go. And it's just a wild story of uh, an immigrant who came to this country and built something out of nothing into a forty-seven billion dollar empire, and. Uh, and just, I mean, the, the audacity and, and the dreams, it's, a, it's an epic story and a very rare one as well. And I dare say you and Anne work so well together in this. I mean, you saw, of course, the love, the tension and everything else, but the two people just, you know, are there for each other. Well, she's, I was just saying she has, she, have a, she has enough chemistry uh, uh, charisma for the both of us. Um, you know, and, and I was really, I'm really grateful for that. She's an incredible talent, an amazing actor, always good, always there, prepared and willing to take great risk and, you know, wears her heart on her sleeve. Uh, and it was just a perfect partner for, 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 for me. And then even the character you play, Adam, you know, there's always been talk about people who have done great in business kind of teeter on genius and insanity. And it's kind of like you had a little bit of both going on. Yeah, he's a dreamer, that's for sure. And, uh, you know, the, the fact that he was able to build this company from absolutely nothing mm -hmm. um, into a, you know, a product and a brand that so many people use around the world and, and, and is honestly doing great in a post-pandemic pandemic world. It's like, seemed like he was prescient in some ways. Okay, what did you think? It's good. It really is. It's almost like when I say the social network, where you see this company that you've heard of, you're a part of, you know, in some way, seeing how it got started. And again, just seeing how this guy was, he turned down money. And that's when people just started throwing more at him. Right. I, I, I wish somebody would, you know, offer me more money when I turned it down. That'd be great. And I guess the real guy went to the same college as Dottie. What was that, the Rochester Institute of Technology? He went to the Baruch College in New York City. That's exactly where he went. Uh, did we finally just learn where you went to college? We never talked about it? No, I don't think we ever have. <laughs> Breaking news, there folks. You go. I was joking about <laughs> RIT but, because my brother-in-law went there, but no. where did you go? Baruch College, it's in New York City. And, and the thing is, is though, when I was watching the documentary about him and I saw that, I was like, what? That's where he went to school? Did so, you know him? I did not know him. I didn't know him. J-Lo went there for two seconds before she dropped out. Jeez. Jenny, Jenny, from Jenny from the block. Jenny from the block. There you go. All right. Well, there next up, a new movie out on Netflix starring Jason Segel, Lily Collins, and Oscar-dominated Jesse Plemons, who was awesome in Black Mirror, uh, USS Callister. Mm -hmm. uh, he's also from The Power of the Dog. Uh, tell us about Windfall. Windfall, it's, this is a really interesting movie. I know you'll get a kick out of it because when it first starts out, you've got Jesse and Lily playing husband and wife. They're going on vacation, so Jason knows their house is vacant going to show up, you know, break in, take some stuff, you know, and then go off. They wind up coming back. So immediately, you know how we always do, you start running your own movie in your mind going, okay, I think this is going to happen, this is going to happen, this is going to happen. None of the stuff you think is going to happen, which really makes it interesting. Oh, take a look at this. Such an interesting movie. I mean, you think about, here's your guy, he's a, you know, home burglar, whatever yeah. way you want to look at it. I mean, that's his profession, it's on his card. Thinks, here's a home, nobody's in it. Go in, do your thing. What could possibly go wrong? Yeah. Except everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, and I think that as the movie unfolds, you find out more about why he's chosen this particular house. And uh, 
and what he's after. Um, I, I, I think that the movie explores somebody trying to grapple with this fundamental sense that something is wrong and not being able to put their finger on it. Mm hmm. Nope, absolutely right. And like you said, in the beginning, you think, okay, you're looking at the cast, thinking, okay, it's probably gonna have some humor and all like that, but it's a whole different thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, you know, it's very rare that you get to make a movie with no real grown up, no boss. You know, uh, so when it first starts out, you automatically think, oh, okay, I already know what's kind of going to happen. This thing takes you on a ride that I don't think anybody can imagine, doesn't it? It it definitely does. I'm. So glad that you said that because I think that as the people that were as us involved when we were in prep, we constantly would talk through scenes and nuanced moments, some of which were unspoken and character choices and all of the things that you want to inform where it's going if you were to watch it and look back and see where there are moments where they hinted at it or does it track for each character as to what happens. And you don't want to do that at the disservice of spoiling what happens. Okay, how many reels? Uh, four. Because I'm like I said, it's interesting. It'll pull you in and surprise you with what happens. Also, great performances. Jesse Plemons should play Benny Hill in oh. a biopic, and we need a <laughs> Benny Hill biopic. Anyway, put, put it out there, folks. Where can people Benny see Hill more of your biopic. interviews? Just go to movieshowplus.com. You can see, like Jason said, more interviews, also reviews, and also your chance to win some uh, prizes. So right. there you go, movieshowplus.com. See you there. Movieshowplus.com. Thanks, Greg. Good to see you. <laughs> Always a pleasure seeing you. <laughs>